In this video, you will learn how to solve different math problems to prepare for the CFAT. A three yard long ribbon was used to trim four dresses. Each dress used the same amount of ribbon. How much ribbon was used for each dress? Now to solve this, you just have to divide um, the length of the total length of the ribbon, which is three yards by the number of dresses. So the answer here is three four um, yard. In some cases, you can um, convert the measurement from yard to inches and then you convert inches back to yards. If xy is equal to yz and angle y measures 90 degrees in the figure above, which of the following cannot be concluded? All right, we're given here a right triangle, and it says here that angle Y is equivalent to 90 degrees. Other one is the right angle. All right, among the choices here, we have A equals B. Okay, A is um, the length of YZ, and B is the length of x y and then the next um option is x squared equals x y squared plus uh, y z squared that one is um the pythagorean theorem then x z is less than x y a plus b equals 90. all right a um let's take a look at the first option first a equals b or x y equals y z so if x y equals y z and angle y here this one is 90 degrees then the triangle x y z is a right isosceles triangle which means that all three sides of the triangle are congruent and that angle y is a right angle therefore we can conclude that x z all right which is the hypotenuse is congruent to x, y, and y, z, and a plus b equals 90 degrees, a equals b. However, we cannot conclude that x, z, this one, the hypotenuse, is less than x, y. So the answer here is this one, x, x z less than x, y. Simplify 4a times 3ab plus 3a squared times 9b. So we have 4a times 3ab plus 3a squared times 9b. All right, we multiply these terms first before they can, well, we can add them up. So 4a times 3ab is just equivalent to 12a squared b plus 3 times 9 is 27. Then a, oh, this is 9b, okay, a squared b. Since the two terms are alike, then we can add them up. So 27 plus 12 is just equivalent to... 39 and then we copy on the variables or the terms a squared b therefore the answer here is 39 a squared b A train travels at uh, 25 miles per hour for three hours. How far did the train 
move. All right, if a train is moving at 25 miles per hour, then that means each hour, okay, for one hour, it will travel um, 25 miles. So if it travels for three hours, then it must have gone 25 miles times three, which is equivalent to 75 miles. So the answer here is 75 miles. Or you can just simply write down 25 miles um, per hour times three hours then you cancel out the hour unit and then you'll be left with the mile unit and this is equivalent to 25 uh, 75 miles solve for x and we're given 3 the expression 3 times x plus 1 equals 5 times x minus 2 plus Seven. All right now to solve this, we need to expand these terms here or expressions. So that is three x plus one equals five times x minus two plus seven, and then we expand. Uh, we distribute three to x plus one. That is three times x is three x. Copy the operator sign plus, and then three times one is three equals. We distribute five here. So 5 times x is 5x, minus 5 times 2 is 10, plus 7. And then we can simplify 5x, negative 10 plus 7 is negative 3. And then um, we are asked to solve for x. So that means we put all of the terms that have x in it to one side and the rest of the terms in the other side so we subtract three from both sides first to get rid of this one so we're left with 3x equals 5x minus 6 and then we subtract 5x from both sides we get rid of this and we have 3x minus 5x equals negative 6 and this would give us negative 2x equals negative 6 3 minus 5 is negative 2x and then we divide both sides by negative 2 therefore the value of x is equal to 3 so the answer is this one x equals 3. What is the perimeter of the shape seen in the figure? So we're given this figure here and the dimensions. Now let's dissect this figure here. So we can um, draw a line here as one of the sides of the triangle right. since this is 150 degrees this one and if this is a straight line that means that is 180 degrees so 180 all right we don't need to do that i think we just have to subtract 150 um, by 90 degrees since this is um, 90 degrees this one so 150 minus 90 therefore this angle here is equal to 60 degrees and this one is also 60 degrees and since um, the total measure of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees it's understood that this is also this angle is also equivalent to 60 degrees since all of the angles in the triangle here in the figure 
are equal to 60 or are congruent. So this tell, tells us that a triangle must be equilateral. And that means that all three sides of a triangle are also equivalent to 10 centimeters, since this is 10 centimeters. So this is also 10 centimeters, as well as this one. All right, and now we can um, figure out the measure of the base of the figure. So that means the measure of the base is just 10 centimeters plus this one. Uh, 6 centimeters which is equivalent to 16 centimeter and the left side this one here is just um, uh, we can find that by adding up this one this side plus this side which is 8 centimeters plus 16 uh, 6 centimeters which is equivalent to 14 um, centimeters thus the total perimeter of the given figure is just the sum of all of the sides. We just have to add up all of the sides. That is 10 centimeters plus 10 centimeters plus 8 plus 6 plus 16 plus 14. Oh, I missed this one. It should be plus another 6 um, centimeters. And this would give us an answer that is equivalent to 70 centimeters. So the answer here is 70 centimeters. A man bought a pair of jeans for 23, a shirt for 14.95, and two ties for 7.98 each. What was the total cost of his clothing? So all we have to do here is we simply add the cost of all the items. So total cost is just equal to 23 plus 14.95 plus 7.98 plus it says two ties so that would be 7.98 times 2 and this would give us an answer that is equal to 53.91 so the answer is this one